a historic gaming moment of our time. The great migration of gamers is happening right before our eyes in the Korean gaming community as I speak to you right now. Everything dates back to 2016 when a voice actor from the game, Closers, tweeted her t-shirts that was made by an ultra-feminist group in Korea. Ultra-feminists are basically those who think women are better than men. Players were outraged. The issue worked as a butterfly effect, as it created a political debate of whether to fire their voice actor or to support freedom of speech. Politicians started to resign from the factions that support the voice actor, since the ultra-feminists didn't want equality in gender, they wanted superiority over men. The voice actor eventually got fired, and the matter seemed to be settled. However, later in 2018, an illustrator for Closers made even worse remarks, such as Divide the subway in half for men, the other half for women. I don't even want to go near men. As you can see, this game is enjoyed by a majority of men. The GMs made it worse by ignoring the voice of their own gamers by deciding to protect the employee. People were fed up with it this time, and they threw away all the items and decided to boycott the game. In the middle of despair, they found a simmering light in the darkness called Soul Worker. Very similar to the Closers game, Soul Worker was in the verge of shutting down service in 2018. The game was brought back to life with thousands of refugee users from Closers. The GMs took every piece of advice from users seriously, increased server capacity as more people flooded in, and commented on every post in social media. They were just super happy to see the newbies starting the game after a long drought of players. Look at this developer, he's dancing! What made the Great Migration most interesting was, the old users who've been playing the game for a long time spend all their in-game currency to help these newbies by buying them potions and items for free. Before the overnight maintenance, they would yell, Please, come back tomorrow! Please, please, please! I love you all! It doesn't stop here. The old users would buy late night snacks for the GMs who were working late hours. The newbies were very impressed and even moved by the great management and friendliness of both the developers and the old users. They saw a future. And of course, the maid outfit helped as well. As a result, the total playtime skyrocketed by 700%. Amazing! The problem didn't lie in ultra feminism. The problem lied in the attitude of the developers, who ignored thousands of voices who were enjoying the game. Have you ever played a game where the developers only care about constantly ripping off the users? Please leave us comments about this incident in Korea. And don't forget to press like and subscribe to our channel. You know the drill. Until next time, skibbidi boo!